welcome to Farm GH. Today on this ex uh, episode, we are going to take you through the differences between uh, deep litter and battery case system. As you can see, today we are in LNG farms as well, and it's located right behind the Pam Pam uh, Junction. When you go to, I think, two meters from the Pam Pam Junction, that is where we are located. All right. So as you can see, where I am now, I'm standing in our newly built uh, thirteen thousand capacity of layer a house. That is very very wide and, and, and big as well. So uh, today we are going to take you through the differences uh, between uh, we started with brooding in, in in battery cage. Now we are going to take you through brooding in deep litter as well as uh, layer uh, deep litter layer and battery cage layer. It's, it has a lot of uh, differences and a lot of importance to our farmers. But please and please again subscribe to our YouTube channel. And please just click on the notification button so that we can, in case or anytime we make an update of a new video, you get it as well. And you get the notification that we posted a video. All right, so welcome to Farm GA TV. As we said earlier on, we are going to take you through the differences, the importance, uh, the benefits of uh, deep litter and battery case system. All right, so deep litter in the normal sense is the traditional way of. Uh, brooding or rain checks in the house as we have they are mostly confined in a, a zone and uh, the feed and everything is, is in the, the house as well but when it comes to the battery cases then they are mostly in cages and they are not really really uh together like we normally have in now various when uh, various uh, poultry from that we know so today this is what we are going to take you through as you can see deep litter uh it's a traditional way of, of, of having checks and brooding them and what have you so uh, some of the disadvantage that comes with, you know, when you are brooding chicks and they are together, there are droppings, you know, sometimes they, they have to step in the droppings, they drop uh, a lot of uh, bacteria, diseases and what have you. So, and it's rightly fall in where they sleep and where they eat as well. So, and the drinks and the, the, what the, name, uh, the food they eat and everything. So, when it drops in, it can brood into a different uh, thing that can actually brood diseases or spread diseases among them. So that is one of the disadvantages of deep litter. And deep litter as well, it has its own own benefit as well. You know, with deep litter, it's giving a whole large room that you can accumulate a lot of bags. Unlike this uh, uh, factory that we are in, it has only limited few that can take. We are doing 13,000 here, and each cage will roughly take about five, maximum six. But in deep litter, from every corner of the room or the house or the penthouse, Will accommodate a bed and it has its own importance because you have major, uh, larger beds and you have a lot of uh, the feed consumption as well. It's one very important thing farmers look at when you are going into farming, into poultry farming. You look at both sides and you see what it comes about, right? So, with its importance, you look at um, with the deep litter, normally uh, the feed consumption is very high because they come into contact with the, with the feed. And they can hide this with their, their 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 legs to spread it around. But unlike battery cage system, they are mostly fed in a feeding trough, and they can pick them right from it. That is it. So they don't come into contact with their leaf droppings, with their water. A lot of things are limited. And with battery cage, in case any disease outbreak or outbreak, they are only limited. So once they they are five in a cage and there's a disease outbreak, we identify those in the cage and we take them out for treatment. Don't or we send them to the sick bay. Those are the importance of uh, battery. And battery cage, mind you, the feed consumption is very low in the sense that they don't ask with their legs to spread the feed away. So they have limited time and limited uh, feed that they have to intake and as well as their, 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 uh, their drinkers and water as well. And with, with the battery cage, it, it has a variety of, of differences. Brooding in battery cage also help the birds as well. You know when they are young, they can pick everything with the sawdust and uh, everything on the floor. They can easily pick it and swallow it because they are very tiny. But with uh, battery cage, you know, uh, they are tiny as well. They don't come in contact with sawdust, anything at all. They are only confined in the Arizona as we took you earlier on in our earlier episode in the uh, breeding house battery cage system. You see, they don't come into contact with their droppings. They don't come into contact with any disease outbreak because they are only confined at least uh, 20 in a room. Or 15 in the room, so they are limited spaces for them, and they have the comfort to grow in. Unlike the battery cage, that's uh, deep litter that they can have stampede. Battery cage stampede is taken away because 20 in a cage they have their confined so that they can 
growth wall. And you can see four weeks how our beds are faring now. That is marvelous. Our veterinary officer always come in really really impressed with how things are going here. So basically these are some of the challenges and importance of the two differences. But to me personally if I'm advising a farmer or a new farmer to go into such a business, I will always advise you to go in for the battery kit. Mostly they are expensive and they save time, uh, the workers, human resources limited, a lot of things that is so 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 much limited in a way that can help a newcomer. And mostly seek advice from your veterinary expert and our poultry expert, they will always advise you and take you through the necessary process that you need to take, that you need to learn and know about this this uh, business as well. All right, so see you later then. Uh, thanks for now. Just subscribe if you have any comments, any uh, any comment, any question, any inquiry. Just leave the comment, leave it at the comment section. I've been receiving uh, calls and uh, messages that our comment section are mostly turned off. Please, we are working on that and we'll resort it back as well. So keep it well, or keep it intact. I guess so, subscribe to our YouTube channel. That is one Farm GTV. We have our social media platform Farm GTV as well. And we beg you and beg you again, keep the notification button on. So that when we post any video, you can get an alert. Thank you. See you in our next episode.